Welcome to a new vlog. We are in Cartagena, Colombia with it. Um, I'm so excited to be here. The way that I need this vacation, the way that I need this vacation, y'all, y'all would not understand, okay? Y'all would not understand, but I'm so excited to be here. I got in last night. I actually got in last night at um, 11 p.m., I believe. So I flew out of Atlanta at 4 o'clock. I had a layover in Bogota, Colombia. So landed there like around 8 our time. We're actually an hour behind. Atlanta, so landed there at about eight hour time. Had a two hour layover, had to go through customs and immigration in Bogota. Um, almost missed my flight, had to beg people to cut in line in front of them to be able to make it to my connecting flight. But by the grace of God, I made it. So made it to my flight with like probably 10 minutes to spare. Landed, got in a taxi, went straight to my Airbnb and just knocked out because I was exhausted. It had been a long day. Trying to get to my gate at that last minute stressed me because I was like, like why would this happen to me like why was the line wrapped around all of the whole it makes sense they already told us they warned us that traveling this summer was going to be insane i guess for me i was like girl what do you mean like i'm landing at nine o'clock like so i'll get all those friends though super excited to be here i'm gonna give you guys an official airbnb tour because this airbnb is stunning like it's so so stunning condo was called cabrero marina club so if you're in cartagena um i'll link it below this is just an airbnb i booked but i believe that they you can actually purchase property here if you want, or you can probably lease from someone else. But I found this place on Airbnb and I love it. It's stunning. They actually also have a rooftop pool. So I think I'm gonna head there in a few because I'm trying to get this tan kickstarted, okay? I'm a little bit tired still, although we are an hour behind. So technically like I got an extra hour of sleep. Um, I'm just a little bit tired just because it's just been a lot of movement the past 24 hours. And leading up to this vacation, I had so much to do. Um, so much to do. So anyways, let me show you on apartment tour or Airbnb tour and we'll get our day started oh also don't be rude okay this is gonna be a whole movie so don't be rude and not subscribe because how crazy would it be if he gets to the end of this video and i'm looking at you you looking at me and the subscribe button looking at all of us because we didn't hit it like what's going on like subscribe to my channel please like there's so much more content to come i love traveling i love beauty i love makeup i love fashion health and fitness too so get right you know what i'm saying by hitting that subscribe button because i'd love to have you guys join my family but yeah let's get into this little tour starters this is the main door as you enter um to my right of that is a restroom but to the left i'll start with the kitchen um so this is the fridge we have there's nothing in here i really wish they had bottles of water at least but there's nothing i'm actually so thirsty but i'm too scared to drink any of the tap water or anything like that because y'all know the horror stories so just gonna have to wait to get some water they do have this still don't trust it too much um still right here oven also definitely don't use any of that because girl i'm on vacation like a few pots and pans here they lift out some few cooking items cups and all that over here i won't open that um here's a little sink it's probably for like more so for cleaning like the laundry area because we also have a washer and dryer which i'll definitely be using and here is the rest of the kitchen I have a sink right here functions nicely there's a few drawers and stuff here don't think there's much in it just more pots and pans and things like that oh good to know that that's there um yeah just some storage items and then i love this little light fixture right here so cute like i love this i love the attention to detail on this space i think they did a really good job decorating it and then from this angle you'll see they put some super cute blue bar stools and it just matches the theme of the whole entire space so nicely so i love that 
Love that. But I'll head back up here for the bathroom to show you guys. They have this little piece of art on the wall. Super cute. And this is the first bathroom. I actually have two bathrooms in here, which I, when I booked the place, I think I knew, but I forgot. <laughs> so you the bathroom. This is me. Hey, you all. Um, just have a few of my items here. This is where I, this is where I washed my face and everything last night and this morning. Here's a toilet. They have a shower. And if you travel to countries that are typically hot, um, you know that they don't really have hot water as an option. They just only have cool water, which is fine because it's like 90 degrees here anyways. But um, no shower curtain, which is fine. They gave me like a little rug type thing, like a little towel under there. So I used that. Um, had a lovely shower here yesterday. Loved it. Amazing. Felt really nice. Cold, cool. I needed that on my skin. So I like this bathroom. It's very clean, simple but effective. Okay, so then now we'll move on to the rest of the living room. So, for the rest of the living room space, we just have this couch here. These pillows are a little disheveled because I said on this earlier, but just the couch, nothing too crazy. Have a fan here, just in case it gets hot because it just it do be hot here. It really do. I have my speaker, which I travel everywhere with. Um, just this nice little, well, it's actually huge as a coffee table. I really like the decor of that. It's nice. Got the plant here. Can't tell if it's real or fake. Oh, it's real. Real plant. Love that. Is it? No, it is real. Yeah, love that. And then I love this chair too. I just love the colors that they chose in here. They have like really diff they have different hues of blue. So they have these pillows in here, blanket right there, and all of these earth tones that they have. So then over here we have our entertainment system. Nice huge TV. This looks like it's about 60 inches or so. It's really big, maybe 65. Entertainment center, once again, they did really good with the color scheme. Another real plant. Love that for us. And then we have this gorgeous, 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 gorgeous view from the outside. These doors actually all open up. So I'll do it at the end, at the end of the vlog so y'all can see how big the space opens up. But yeah, so that is the living room in its entirety. And now we're gonna head to my bedroom. Here it is. Here's the bed. The bed is actually not comfy. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I did not sleep too well last night. Um, if it was up to comfort, I didn't sleep too well. But it's a bed, and you know, it is what it is. Like, people's levels of comfort vary, so it's cool. Like, it's a bed. They actually also have like um, an extra bed under here in case I had extra guests, but it's just me, child. So this won't be necessary, but um, a little table right here for you know, just miscellaneous items up on the laptop right here. They have this lamp fixture, which I'm obsessed with. I'll, if I remember, I'll show you guys later at night what it looks like. But essentially, it's just like a read. This is like a, supposed to be like a little reading nook, it appears. And I love the way they did it because there's actually one light fixture that turns this on all by itself. So nice. I love this. Getting some inspo for sure. That's the bedroom. And over here to my left, we have the closet. The closet is stunning. It's beautiful. I need to unpack and put all my clothes in here. I just haven't had time yet, but now that I'm up, I definitely will. So, huge closet. All these nice little things. I, all these nice things I can use. Um, I didn't even see this yesterday. I was looking for a face towel, but good to know they're in here. And then on this, well, should I open it? I'm a little bit tired, y'all, so I won't open it. But on the other side is an ironing board, as you can see. There's a pillow up there, hangers. So yeah, I definitely need to unpack my clothes because I need to see all my outfits laid out. And then in here is another bathroom, which was a pleasant surprise because let me tell you, I did not know I had to. <laughs> so here's another bathroom. This one, once again, has a little mirror. Super cute. Plants, sink area. Came with a little shampoo conditioner. So they have this body soap and it's actually really um, nice. So they have a little logo on it, which is great for them. Great marketing tactic. So yeah, the toilet right here. And this sink actually, um, I'm sorry, this shower actually does have a door. So, and then let me now go show you guys the view in all its glory because this whole door opens up. So let me just set you guys up. This is it all opened up. Beautiful walking room. 
I love that they have these beautiful plants, like these real plants. I'm definitely going to use this as a photo opportunity. A thousand and one percent. Out here they have some seating. Super cute. I'm going to sit out here. Probably just journal. Read. This is going to be so nice. This is the rest of the city. Rest of the city. And then to my right, there's actually a body of water over there. But yeah, such a blessing to be here. I'm really excited for this trip. I'm excited to have you guys with me. I think it's gonna be so much fun. Great to have this time of relaxation and just to reset myself. Sorry, there was a man watching me, like literally watching me. But yeah, I'm gonna get started with my day. I think for today, what do we have planned? So for today, we are going to I really thought I was going to hit, you know what I'm saying, the ground running. Like, I really thought I was going to go on the water today, do all of that excursions. But I realized I'm exhausted still. And I kind of need to ease into my vacation. On top of that, it's supposed to rain today around, like, 2, I believe. So, scattered thunderstorms type vibes. So, I'm just going to do a soft life bathe today. So, today, I'm going to go lay by the pool for a bit right now because I want to see what the pool looks like. It's supposed to be really nice. So, I'm going to go do that. The sun isn't out yet, but I want to get my tan kick started because... I just love the way I look when I'm golden. Like afterwards, I'm gonna go grab lunch at one of my favorite cafes that I loved last time. I literally ate there twice. I would eat in there every day if I no, I ate there three times, either two or three times. But I would have been there every day if I could, but I just couldn't because I was with someone. So obviously had to let them choose a couple times as well. But might take some cute pictures, not really, but like kind of. Um, and then tonight, I'm gonna do a sunset boat tour tonight, but they're all booked, so I think I'll do that for tomorrow, maybe. I don't know, I need to plan my vacation properly, but it's not really up to me, it's just to also is based on what's available right now, you know? I want Gucci on me, Hey, what you Okay, that was a fail because I think the pool is closed. Um, they're doing construction on it, so I think they're like cleaning it out and everything. So that was a fail for now, but it's okay. This swimsuit is from Fashion Nova. This sweat set is from Misguided a while back. So yeah, just pretend y'all did not see this because I'm gonna do this again. Period. But now we're just gonna get dressed to go do brunch. I have a beautiful dress I'm wearing, so excited for that. So okay, you guys. So this is the dress of the day. This is from ASOS. The sandals are also from ASOS, if you can see. And yeah, feeling cute, feeling fun, feeling pretty. Dang, I don't know the national dance of Colombia. Like, is it salsa? It's not bachata. Child, I gotta learn. But um, I put the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc on my body, and then I top that with uh, Jo Malone, what's it called? Scarlet Poppy. Love them together. This is actually a beautiful summer fragrance if you pair it with the right notes, like the more sweeter, coconutty notes. I think this pairs, this is like great for summer. So I'm excited to pair this with all of those sweet notes. Gonna put my little watch on. Just minimal jewelry. No makeup because it's too damn hot outside. It's like 86 right now and I'm gonna be walking around um, a little bit because I'm gonna go like to the town area. And yeah, I feel so cute. I wish I accessorized more like more gold, but I'm not tripping over that right now. I'm just gonna, you know, cause I'm just gonna go get some lunch. I'm going to this spot. Ooh, pick this up. I'm going to this spot called Soloy, Soloy Cafe or Bistro. So I'm gonna go there for lunch, chill there for a bit. I'm just bringing a bag. I'm not bringing anything crazy cause I know I'm gonna go get water at the end of it. Um, I'm bringing my tripod just in case I want pictures. I'm not really sure if I want pictures right now. I think, like, if anything, I'll probably ask someone to take pictures of me. Um, just, you know, for the vibe. Just to kind of be a part of the scenery. But, yeah, this is what I look like. Yeah. Anyways, I am about to head out. Going to call my Uber. Um, also, FYI, if you guys are traveling here ever, it's so much cheaper to call an Uber than it is to use a taxi. Because taxis will, their prices will always fluctuate depending on their mood where you're from to see if they can get more money out of you but ubers are standard so um typically ubers are like two to five dollars depending on where you're going like literally very affordable so i recommend taxis over ubers but obviously you know whatever is the most convenient for you too like yesterday when i was leaving the airport my uber app wasn't like downloading quick enough so i was like girl let me just get this taxi and go home so it just depends on whatever is just the most convenient for you but typically uber is cheaper than taxi so yeah all right bye y'all Um, 
came to Savoy Cafe. I just showed it earlier and I'll link all, uh, all the locations below as well. And this is so cute, such a cute little place. I found it, um, I just found it while browsing. So, to this cafe, I ordered, what did I just order? I ordered um, a passion fruit drink. I ordered fresh fruit and I ordered eggs and like mushrooms on a baguette type thing. So, it's like a brunch meal. Um, they have mimosas on the menu as well, but I wasn't really feeling like, well, I don't know. I feel like I should be drinking, but I think I'm just gonna ease into it. And I think what I'll do is like, once I be here, I'm gonna walk around this area. This is like the downtown area, so there's so many little shops and like things to do and things to buy and people and there's just so much to do around here. So I think I'm gonna walk around. Um, I'm gonna make sure to eat a lot of their local fruit because the fruit here is busting. It's so good, so fresh, and I love fruit. So I'm gonna walk around, probably grab snacks as I walk around and do a little bit of shopping, nothing crazy. I don't need stuff, I don't need anything. My bag is actually, <laughs> my bag is full. I did not check a bag, so I have no extra space for really. And um, yeah, so um, I think once I'm done walking around and like browsing, I'm gonna probably sit down and go to another bar and get another drink. Um, I love it here, it's so beautiful, and I matched the vibe. Um, they actually have a store like right behind me. I didn't know they had a store. Um, so I might go in there, I might not. I really play as it, I don't need anything, but such a good vibe. This is exactly what I was looking for, so yeah, it even has an opening at the rooftop, so this is just so cute and so nice. If I had work to do for real, I could have had my laptop out here, but I'm not really trying to do too much work while I'm out here. So, just gonna enjoy the vibe, just gonna enjoy the food. I'll check with you guys in my <laughs> Yo, why, why did that one drink, why does that have me leaning? Like what, this is crazy. I'm such a lightweight, it's sad. But currently I'm just walking around this area, it's stunning. <laughs> These buildings are beautiful and the street is so stunning over here, the architecture, so stunning. Different side uh -huh. for the pie. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh no, sorry. For the brasile. Okay, maybe. For, yeah. For brasile, lady. I don't found the fresh fruit. Yeah, all I got mangoes over here. Fiends in it. I 
got some shooters you seen with me. We're running shit back, I just seen ten. We gonna get straight, straightening, 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 yeah, straightening, 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 yeah. Don't nothing get straightened but straightened. Don't nothing get straightened but straightened. Don't nothing get straightened but straightened. You don't get shit straight. Okay, guys. So I have gotten all ready for dinner time. I'm trying to see what my if my lip is giving. I wish it was a little bit more caramelly nude but it's okay um yeah this is my outfit this whole fit is from fashion nova you all i'm a fashion nova girl today believe it or not turn my music off um yeah so this one fashion nova it's super cute super snug perfect vacation vibes okay i love it it fits on my body so nicely i'm gonna go find a place for pictures right now in my airbnb i'm either gonna go to the rooftop area or i'm gonna go to the lobby area so we'll see but i have to get pictures of this because it's too good it's just too good i'm hanging with this just these little slip shoes nothing crazy you won't really see that oops like just for a little bit of height i don't know if you know i don't know if you're obviously gonna pick but literally just some slip on pink shoes nothing crazy um the gold accessories i'm wearing some really cute gold earrings and i'm wearing these other earrings in the back as well and then just my typical watch more gold jewelry just a bunch of gold jewelry gold ring keeping it simple with the rings this year typically i do a lot of rings but this year wasn't feeling it too much but yeah y'all i smell good i look good once again i did the body oil and then i did some highlighting powder on my shoulders that's why my cheekbones are getting snatched <laughs> and then i'm always of course gonna do this is the only perfume i bought on this trip so i'm gonna wear this everywhere it just smells so good it smells so rich it doesn't last too long i won't lie to y'all but it just smells really really delicious i'm trying to rush get these pictures in before i head out but i just wanted to show you guys my final look i look so beautiful like i love this look it's just it gives a vacation vibe do you know like it just gives exactly what it's supposed to get like look at me the girls could never <laughs> they definitely could but i'm eating right now so proud of me for that but yeah y'all i look great i'm really excited for tonight um i'll keep you guys posted of course take my camera hopefully i don't forget it and hopefully they, it's not like a weird um Thing that i'm vlogging in there because it's gonna be dinner time but regardless i'm gonna take y'all with me right now first get these pictures in and then yeah i got me two spring i got a mojito and i got a uh, coconut lemonade because y'all know i'm on a mojito diet strictly so this is um just a plain one it was pretty good it's not as good as one this morning for sure because the one this morning i think was passion fruit 10 out of 10 um that one is like 7 out of 10 it's okay though this is actually really good this is what they're kind of known for here so most restaurants have this I don't need cup bread, but I found this bar. It's called this right here. For y'all, I'll link it below, of course, or I'll put the information below. But super cute. It has this wall right here, which I just showed y'all. Like. This time I just want to be stationary, so I just want to go to one island, chill there, get a tan, read, journal, pray, all that. Just get my mind centered and just tan. So excited about that. Um, the boat I think takes off at like 8:30, and then it's supposed to be like a whole day thing. So I'll be there all day. They do provide lunch included with the fare that I pay. Um, 
like, wow, it might be helpful for me to start including prices here. So I might do that at, at the end if I if I'm able to, just because you know when you spend money, you just be spending money. You don't really always like um, think about how much you're spending in the moment, uh, especially if they don't give you any receipts or anything like that. But anyways, so I'll try to do that. But yeah boat trip or day trip today i'm really excited about that it's gonna be nice to be outside um yeah my outfit's really cute i'll show y'all later it's like a matching set i have some accessories that's going to put on but i figured there's no need for me to put it on before the boat because i'm just gonna be flying around everywhere and i'll be damned if my jewelry ends up in the caribbean ocean <laughs> but yeah i'm in the car now so i'll check in with you guys later okay y'all so paid my fare for my excursions and we're currently at um, a pier called Playa de la Boyeguita if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm gonna double check that to make sure I'm pronouncing it right because I was connected through this service through my Airbnb last time I actually came here on my own and um, paid for the fares on my own and I'm 50% sure that when you do that it's much more affordable if you're able to find this location on your own versus like you know having other people get you here then you'll be able to negotiate your price and get on the boat of your choosing I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera because they have all types of different boats I think um, it's very important to choose a good boat that will provide you with the security and assurance that you literally won't flip over right so you're gonna see like the different types of boats as I flip the camera but just an FYI for you guys um, yeah, so let me put the camera. So on this boat, they're loading people on right now. Um, and then they have all different types of boats. There's I keep on the pier with different service providers that facilitate that and have them people waiting. Um, yeah, so just so y'all know what it looks like out here. I'm not really sure what boat service I actually got because like I said, I bought it through a different, a third person. So we'll see. Probably won't be able to vlog like once I'm on the boat just because it's a speedboat and it'll be shaky and all that, but I will vlog the first when I get to the island. So I'll talk to you guys in the afternoon and um we are i'm just chilling right now we made it obviously to playa tranquila so it's supposed to be it's called playa beach in english so literally it's just a beach that's just a beach that you come chill and relax at um i just been out here just reading chilling got some pictures um nothing too crazy just kind of taking everything in the view is so stunning like i'm gonna put the camera real quick just for y'all right so I've been getting me a nice little tan, um, which I'm super excited about. So yeah, it's just been a really nice chill day. Um, they're about to serve us lunch, so when they do, I will um, obviously show you guys so y'all can see the options you have if you do take this day trip. Um, the fare that I paid included this like lounge, it's like bed, I don't know, lounge bed, I don't know what to call it. Um, it included lunch, anything extra is a fee, so they do have drinks here. I think I'm definitely going to order a drink because I'm feeling thirsty and um, it's funny because at the, at the pier before we were leaving, they were selling water and they were selling water at a discounted price and I was like, girl, I want to eat that. Look at me. Now I feel stupid because I'm over here thirsty as no. Mind y'all, I still haven't bought water since I've been here, which is crazy. I've just been drinking water when I'm out, but I haven't bought bottles of water because I have not found a store. Um, but that's my bad, to be honest. That's really my bad, but I'm gonna be really dehydrated if I don't get water in my system soon. So I might as well order some water and probably a drink. I guess the fare that I paid came with this like small drink. It's like a pina colada type thing. It was cool. It was just like 10 a.m. and I didn't really feel like drinking then, but girl, it's new now. I'm trying to be a little, you know what I'm saying? A little, little tooty, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm trying to hype up now, but been a great, great, great little 
staycation. Um, I think they pick us up at around they pick us up at around 2.30 or 3 or so because we're supposed to be back at the pier by 4. So that's like a nice, calm day in my opinion. Um, they've just been relaxing exactly what I needed. I'm reading this book right now called uh, How to Be a Capitalist Without Any Capital. And it's really, really good. So the goal is to finish that this week. But it's really interesting. So I'm going to get back to that. But like I said, I just wanted to check in. I'm having a great time at the beach. Y'all look at me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be so golden and y'all, I'm wearing white tonight. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, but yeah, just want to check in. I'm annoying at this point, but I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You have the option to choose between pork, um, pork, beef, chicken, or fish. And I chose fish. So got a nice little piece of fish. I have some tostones and some rice and a nice salad. Um, and yeah, so I'm about to eat that. It's my lunch, so yeah, I'm really excited to eat because I'm starving. So yeah, I'm about to get drunk too. Hold on. Somebody tell me the answers, me and you isn't the answer. Hi you guys, checking in. So I just got ready for dinner. I'm gonna set up the camera so y'all can see my little outfit. Dress is Zara. Shoes are Jeffrey Campbell. These absolutely stunning shoes that I unboxed in my haul um, that I was obsessed with. And the last vlog I also unboxed them there. Love these to death, they're so cute. I love how this outfit came together. Earrings are also from Zara. And then the jewelry is just, I don't know, it's just some random gold jewelry, gold uh, ring right here, and then a gold bag. So, yeah, that's my little outfit. I love Vacation Me. Like, Vacation Me is just a different girl. Like, she's so fun, free, colorful, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can just wear whatever. Not whatever for real, but I can just, like, be, like, my full self. Like, wear all the colors and patterns and, like... You know, everyone accepts it. I feel like, obviously, in my everyday life, I can too, but a vacation just gives you the extra push to do so. So, yeah, that is how I'm coming. Just fun, vibrant. I actually love these earrings, and I cannot wait. To, I'm actually excited to have these a part of my collection now because they're so fun and cute. I don't know when I'd wear them again, though, when I'm back home, but I'll find a way. Trust me, I'll find a way. Um. <laughs> checking in so we reached our final night in Cartagena um tomorrow my flight from here leaves at 8 p.m um so I still have the day and I'm gonna do a couple activities during the day but tonight is my last hoorah so I figured I'd treat myself to a nice meal the past couple days I've just been eating like regular stuff because my body's not used to like too complex meals like my body is very simple and sensitive so i can't eat too complex meals i can't eat too many carbs i can't eat too much rice i get bloated easily like it's just a lot so but tonight i'm back and i want to treat myself to a nice meal before i leave so we're gonna go do that together yeah i already got dressed and i actually recorded a little get ready with me so that video will be dropping as well but this is what i'm wearing so i am wearing this beautiful dress it's from charlotte bruce it's in yellow it looks delicious on my tan skin i'm eating this up and i'm wearing these just these little pink slip-on heels but we're colombian today like i feel like i'm matching the vibes of the town so yeah gonna go eat i'm excited to eat i'm hungry um yeah i can't wait to see you guys with me hopefully it's not weird to vlog me because this is like a nicer restaurant so we won't see each other yeah let's go
Okay, so uh, I just finished up dinner at Mar y Yellow, I believe. Um, so good. 10 out of 10 recommend. The squid was really, um, I'm sorry, it wasn't squid, it was octopus. The octopus, it was my first time eating it. The texture was rubbery. Um, it probably could have used a little bit more seasoning in my opinion to make it taste a little bit better, but it was good. So I was able to, I was able to eat the whole dish. It was actually really good. Like, rice was well seasoned. Had an assortment of different meats in there. Um, so it was kind of like a paella, it's like Colombian paella. Like, it was giving that kind of vibe because it had seafood, meat. But anyways, it was really good. Um, I got two drinks there. It's called like a gin mint drink. Um, and then I got a mojito because like I told y'all I'm on a mojito diet. And it's funny because I'm right here back at Saloy. I say Saloy, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but the same place I came the first day I was here. Yeah, I'm back here because I want to end my night back here with um, another passion mojito because they do it so well here and it's just sensational so yeah the night vibes are different than the day vibes like it's just a little bit more thank you it's okay thank you yeah so this is my passion fruit mojito so good like i could drown in these they're so freaking good so yeah y'all just had to come back for that i'm probably gonna do a couple and then i'm not y'all it's like it's not that i want to go out for i don't but i feel like i should go out for a little bit but i just don't care enough to does that make sense like if i don't go out in atlanta why would i go out in Colombia? like obviously there was a great reason why i should go out here but it's like i'm by myself i don't feel like i just need to enter a club for 10 minutes to leave just because i did it like it just doesn't make sense plus um tomorrow i have to check out my airbnb at 10 no 11 but i have an early morning activity that's going to um need me to kind of be home to like pack and everything i haven't packed at all i have to like do laundry too like i have a few things to do before i'm out of the airbnb in the morning so i feel like it's just a better usage of my time to enjoy the night you know what i'm saying get all the mojitos in or get all the drinks in that i want because they just do drinks so well here um and then go home <laughs> or go to my back to my airbnb get ready so vacation has been great i feel like the beginning days were amazing the middle days were kind of just like eh not eh, but it's just like i felt tired so i was resting and then like these latter days have been great because i just feel so like i don't know i feel so alive i feel so free so yeah and i finally kind of like really figured out like the places i like to go to and you know going back to them is really nice because to be honest like i won't i probably won't come back here for another few years i have no reason to come back here i feel like twice is enough um and i've experienced it with people i experienced it alone and it's like i'm good like it's time to touch a different country for real now so yeah it's been great but to be honest i don't know when i'll be back here so i think that's also why i'm trying to soak it all in because i really do like it here a lot um could i live here no there's no reason for me to start to think should i move here i'm not doing that like i'm not moving here but I've really thoroughly enjoyed being a visitor and people are so kind and like I do need to brush up my Spanish for real but um, because they know this is a foresty area they do speak a little bit English which is good but yeah I really love the vibes of that restaurant that I just went to like it actually surprised me because I like a lot of the places here you wouldn't know what's inside based off of looking at the building structure outside but once you go into a lot of them like a lot of them have like outdoor spaces in the middle a lot of them just have crazy decor that you just could never imagine a lot of them are like boutique hotels so i just like implore you if you visit here to just branch out and like visit different places because you'll be pleasantly surprised like i didn't do a good job branching out for real because i just kind of like this wasn't like an exploring trip for me i just kind of wanted to relax so i wasn't going to go out and like go out of my way to do stuff but i'm really happy that i've tried new places because they've proven to be amazing and a great experience so I just hope that you guys um, love it here as much as I do, but 
Let me drink this drink, child. I don't want this ice to melt. You know what I'm saying? Makes the liquor lighter. So let me enjoy this drink, and I will talk with you guys a little later. sad day because I'm all packed up ready to go I have my bags right here I have to call my uber because like I told y'all my flight is until 8 but I have a couple activities planned for the day still so we're gonna go do that um first gonna go do like a rooftop painting and I think that'll be nice just to kind of like enjoy my Saturday morning and then we're gonna go get like a brunch lunch at this like spot that I discovered yesterday that I want to go back to before I leave because they have fresh juices fresh fruit fresh salads I think it'll be really good for my system just to kind of reset it before I go. But yeah, this has been an amazing trip. I had a great time. It was really, really great to reset and rejuvenate. But we out, okay? I have things to do back in Atlanta, so it's time to go back home, child. So anyways, um, if I don't talk to y'all, I mean, I will talk to y'all. But if I don't talk to y'all for real before I end the vlog, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you visit. I hope you travel. I really encourage travel for everybody, but if you do visit Cartagena, like, I hope you love it. I hope this vlog gave you a little bit more insight on some places you can go, things to do out here. And yeah, also don't forget to subscribe now. Y'all did not come this far to just watch my channel and not subscribe. Like that's awkward, is it not? Let's be honest. So anyways, I will check in with you guys a little bit later, but once again, thank you so much for watching the vlog. If I don't talk to y'all, See you in my next video. Bye. My sister had her honeymoon there. We were literally just talking to her like before we came, and she's like, "Yeah, we're gonna do our five year there." So I was like, well, "I'll tag along." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Goes, I think you're gonna love it. It's a wow. lot to do there. A lot of great clubs, co-workers. So I came to Solo Paint, and there are women here, only black women, first of all. Okay. And three of them are from Atlanta, like what? And then one of them used to live in Atlanta, she's from California. So I'm gonna, do you, if y'all don't mind saying hey, I'm gonna flip the camera. <laughs> hey y'all. <laughs> Where are we gonna paint this? Because we typically import a floor called the paint. Many of the houses here in this area, in the whole city, have some architecture. So we're gonna paint for that reason. Maybe sometimes it's gonna be like different colors in the background. Different flowers in the plants, but architecture is important so we can have paint for those. We're gonna use acrylic paint for paint our canvas to take that it means that it's only the water. So first of all, we have an open environment right now, so we need sometimes the color paints can be dry. So in case as it happens, if it's like one or the drops of water to the paint, then you can paint that. Okay? Now we're gonna talk about the tools that we're gonna use. These for brushes that we are here. We're gonna start with the two biggest ones. That is a number eight and number five. This one we're gonna use for paint white areas in your canvas, the biggest part of the canvas. Could be maybe the color in the background, the color in the door, or in the bottom of the canvas. And these two is number one and number zero. This one we're gonna use for paint only small details, in the small parts of the canvas. Could be maybe the thin lines in the window, the small dots in the door and there's more flowers in the place. And also it's gonna be used for painting small details, for example, it could be like a small corner, so the small edge of all the parts of the canvas. It could be the small edge over here in the door, the small edge in the background, or the small edge in the bottom of the canvas. It's gonna be up to you, you use only one number one and number seven for painting small details and a small edge. Now, we got some of the palettes, of course, that we're gonna use. We have five colors. We can start with three primary colors. That is red, blue, and yellow. And two, neutral color is black and white. If you mix that color, we can have a gray tone, and we can paint the sidewalk in the bottom of the canvas. We keep a space between each colors. This one can use for mix the colors because we want to change. For example, you want to paint the flowers. You want like a pink flowers in this case. So in this space, you can use a little white, red. You can mix the colors, and you can paint the pink flowers. Also. This space in the middle one is gonna be necessary to for mix the colors if you don't have any other space to switch colors. Okay? 
<coughs> and it's important. It's important every time you're gonna change the color of the brush or you're gonna change the brush, always wash into the water that you have on the table and dry with a towel too. But never let the brushes into the water because then we, we don't want accident, maybe it's gonna fall for something. So every time wash it, take out, and you can put in the towel. Okay? Clear? Mm -hmm. Good? Five AM in the morning, away from the crowd. That's when I think about the most. I keep thinking about rhymes. I'm getting these signs. I'm keeping it going. I flow with the road when the best things happen when nobody knowing. The best things happen when nobody knowing. You really like them? It's calm. I keep an interest when it's less because it shows that I'm there for the mess. Stress. Who do you like Kim Dick? Kanye West, all this chat about the da 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 rest Can't trust no man cause it's life flat like chess It's just kings and queens trying to wean, wean They'll line you for what's on the table I mean team, team work That's something we need, need That's something we need, need We need it, we need, need I see too many trying to do this on their own All that Greek got them running the show I don't pander to nothing, I'm cool with a no Cause that no turn to yes when you know that you got this You just gotta get them to know Stay woke, I got goals I got visions that nobody sees I'm on missions that you've never been I thought about giving up so many times Bungee jumping, I'm trying to reach out So don't care about fame or the hype, that's right Just need peace in my life, that's right 5 a.m. in the morning, away from the crowd That's when I think about the most I keep thinking about rhymes, I'm getting these signs I'm keeping it going, I flow with the road When the best things happen when nobody know it Yes. Okay, and then with the light blue, you guys have to paint already the color of the door inside. Different directions, up and down, slide. Perfect. Grabbing 